Hey guys, this is Dom from Team Pirate Life with fellow teammate Alex Romeo, and he's here to showcase a 10 deck profile post Chaos Impact. So, what are your thoughts on the deck with the new inclusions that the set gave us? I mean, with the format being really slow and everything being really weak, uh, the cards that uh, the new set gave makes this deck ceiling very high. So. I feel like it has a good matchups against everything that's meta relevant around the board. But uh, um, I'll just get into it when I explain the cards. All right, let's check out the deck. So for starters, we start off with three Ashuna. It's the brand new card from Chaos Impact. Um, for those who don't know what the ten do, they all, uh, if you control a non-effect monster, you could uh, or if you control an effect mon don't control an effect monster, you could reveal these in the hand like Burning Abyss and Special Summon in the field. And they all have effects in their hand and gra or graveyard where you can banish to do one or the other things. Uh, this one uh, banishes the special one from deck, so he's like a graph in sense. But uh, he's your main uh, combo starter. Um, everyone knows what this one is, uh, Vishuna. Uh, one of the best ones. Yeah, so everybody who's played Orcus last format, most of them who play Going Second played this card. Um, it outs uh, Titans, Colossuses, uh, Dengirsu, Sunlight Wolves, so it's really good. Also, it's the level 7 you use to Synchro Summon with your uh, level 8s and extra deck that I'm going to show. Um, this one's Ashunda. It's uh, the level 1 tuner. Um, this guy, he uh, banishes himself from Hand or Graveyard to add one from Banished. So it's really good. And then I got, I don't know even how to say this name, so he's going to be a uh, blue guy or blue man group. Blue man group. So uh, this dude, he, uh, if your non-effect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can uh, banish this dude from Graveyard or Hand to uh, special summon the non-effect monster back and then pop a guy on the on your opponent's side of the field. This one's uh, honest in a sense, where if your non-effect monster's battling, you can uh, reduce your opponent's monster by 1,500. Um, so, like, let's say you have... Uh, everyone knows what Monk is. So you have Monk. You can make Monk. And uh, if someone battles into list, you can just banish this guy from hand, make the guy lose 15, and then make sure Monk will uh, stay on the field. Which he's... Uh, heart and soul of the deck. If you don't have Monk on the field, you lose. Um, this guy, uh, Maypura, yeah, he's not that good. Um, I honestly wouldn't play it if I didn't need more Tenny names, but uh, he, uh, if your guy's targeted for a card effect, you can negate the activation and destroy it, but that never comes up anymore. Uh, that's all the Tennies. I believe there's 13 I play. And uh, the next up, I got like the Two cards that I play to uh, extend if I don't open anything. Uh, one Sky Blaster. So um, Sky Blaster is good in this deck. So if you go first, uh, you don't open a Tenny, but you open like the Tenny spells or traps. It uh, allows you to make a, a non-effect monster to where you could activate them, or like use uh, Foolish Burial to uh, use them in the grave. And then also going second, you could just like kill them with Boral Sword. So and then Mirror Mirror. Mare Mare, you can, everybody knows what Mare Mare does too. So if you make Mare Mare, uh, you could dump Mare Mare with the Tenyi spell I'm going to show or Foolish Burial. Special it back with the Tenyi Link 2. Uh, go for uh, either a game with uh, a bunch of Tenyi guys because they get big, or you can make, uh, going first, you can make like Bo and uh, Tenyi guy Link Karibo, which doesn't sound too good, but in this format, it's pretty solid but uh next up i got hand traps so i run uh two ash two valor and two crow so i only run two ash because um it's only a once per turn and you know if you open multiples with this deck it's not like the other decks where you could just like grind with like one card combos um so you just use this and you just don't want to open multiples. And then these two, um, I, you, Valor, Valor is just as good as a permanence or even better in this deck in a sense, because with the field spell, which I'm just gonna explain now, the field spell, you could uh, 
use uh, if you control a non-effect monster or a face-down monster and your opponent's special summon is an effect monster, you could draw two cards. So with this card on field, if you draw into an impermanence, you can't use it. But if you draw into a Veiler, you could just use the Veiler. So that's pretty good. Also, the, with this field spell, it makes your non-effect monsters unaffected by monster effects, which is really pretty good. Um, and Crow. Crow is just good this format. It hits uh, Salmon Greats, Strikers, um, Orcus. The mirror, if you ever want to play one, but that would never happen, probably. But yeah, these are pretty good. So that's it for the monsters. Um, for the rest of the spells, I play three vessel for the dragon cycle. Um, this card is full burial and Rhoda in one. So you, if you, you if you don't control a non-effect monster, you could just foolish burial with any or any worm. But if you control a non-effect monster, you can Foolish Burial and then search a Tenyi with a different name from the worm you sent to the graveyard. So this card's pretty broken. So, and then the next up is three Call by Grave because it's really good. I mean, if you don't play Call by Grave in your deck, your deck sucks. But uh, two Cosmic Cyclones hits a... Uh, Back row decks hits uh, Orcus Crescendo or Babel, which makes them play awkwardly. Um, it's just a solid card, better than Twin Twister, better than MST. One Foolish Burial to get your combo started, and one Scapegoat. Um, scapegoat works also, it's like defensive and offensive. Like, you could use Scapegoat, and if you, like in a grind game and you scapegoat, it gives you non-effect monsters, so you can use your tenue cards. Also, it works with the field spell and uh, with the uh, two counter traps. So, the counter trap is basically Solemn Judgment, um, except it doesn't destroy, which is bad. And it's also, if it gets popped, it's Waking the Dragons for non-effect monsters in your extra deck. So, you could uh, make, uh, so if someone ever decides to set it, and you pop, it gets popped. Um, you could just like drop a non-effect monster from your graveyard, which is really good. So, um, two lost wins. The card is just good right now. It hits everything, and everything being slower, it, it gives a, a better reason to just play like genuine good traps in your deck. And this card's basically like a four of in a sense, to where you could play two, and they just like keep coming back. And then. Two Dynamiscus, because it's just generally good spark removal. Uh, hits Orcus monsters, hits Thunder monsters, hits uh, There Could Only Be Ones. It's just like genuine problems. And also, if you, uh, it has another utility to where you could, uh, gives you a, a non effect monster if you special it back on Grave. So that's pretty cool. And then the last, the main deck is two Waterfall to Dragon Souls, which is probably the best card in the deck. Um, it's basically Super Rejuve. And um, Rota, so there's been a lot of times to where I could like been playing and like drew four off of it, so that's really good. So that's it for the main deck. The main deck's 41 cards because 41, 41 wins YCSs. <laughs> <laughs> it's what they say. I don't know anything. Um, <laughs> extra deck, uh, three monk guys, hard and soul of the deck. Um, basically it's, uh, you want to just have this on field at all costs. Um, unless like you just want to keep this It's basically like a protect the towers kind of thing to where like you want to either keep this up here or just like bring it back at all. Cause if you don't, you just lose, um, two shaman, this guy's, uh, Pretty good. She uh, she uh, discards the card to Special Worm from the graveyard. Um, the only thing is it uh, restricts you from monsters in your extra deck to where you can only activate effects of Tenyes. But uh, that doesn't really matter. But uh, you could also, uh, if your non-effect monster uh, is involved in battle, you could, uh, on declaration, you could pop a card to your opponent controls, which is really good. Uh, the new one, uh, Draco Masters, um, he can't be destroyed by battle with effect monsters. He also uh, checks the field and graveyard, and you could pop up to as many non-effect monsters you control or is in the graveyard. 
so it's pretty good. It's also generic kind of, so like you can make this off scapegoat, um, pop two or three, and then link up into, I would probably play a Avermax, which I don't have one. Someone give me an Avermax, please. <laughs> Shout out to Kyle Jones. But uh, one Berserker of Tenny. Um, card's good. Um, it's just generic. You could uh, link up to this to have a big dude, and then he becomes untargetable with the field spell. Land for Rinkus because it's a uh, non effect. Um, one Link Rebo, one Link Spider for Scapegoat and Mare Mare. One Phoenix for back row removal. One Bow for the combo. Uh, going first, if you uh, open Cycle and any Tenny, you could. Uh, make a board of uh, bow with uh, level 8 synchro and a token for either Link Rebo or your field spell to draw to. Um, level 8 uh, new guy Draco Berserker uh, he's a quick effect you can banish a guy uh, monster if your opponent activates an effect a monster effect and uh, he uh, if you battle Destroys a monster by battle, he gains the original attack, and then he could attack twice on monsters after that. And then one Boxia for just uh, spinning two. So that's pretty good. Also with Boxia, there's like a cool thing where you could pop a card and special back to Tenyu. So that's pretty good. So that's all I got there.